There was a king who loved wine and generously wanted to lavish upon the good citizens of his kingdom his love of wine. And so he invited all the villagers far and wide from the countryside to his castle for a feast. And so the banquet hall was filled on feast day with friends and strangers alike, everybody eagerly awaiting to taste the king's prized wine. As he asked the, as the king asked the, the good citizens to have a seat around the banquet hall table, uh, he began to pour wine, uh, but he poisoned a few glasses along the way. Some of the citizenry noticed this and uh, asked the king why he was poisoning the cups. And he said, this is essential that everybody enjoy the wine as is, whether it's poisoned or not. And of course, as you can imagine, uh, his kingdom lost a few citizens that day. This is who Elon Musk is as a free speech absolutist. Knowing that uh, some of the cups are gonna be poisoned and insisting that we all partake in this uh, feast together anyway, uh, will not bode well for all of us. There must be some intolerance for the poison cups among us. We cannot be tolerant of everything. That's the tolerance paradox. It requires us to be intolerant of the intolerant. Um, as a free speech absolutist, Elon Musk believes that all speech, whether it's hate speech or misinformation, something he has a penchant for, uh, should be uh, should pro proliferate his, uh, his, his site. He relied on the Santa Monica Observer propaganda site um, with low credibility rating by the MBFC, the Media Bias and Fact Check Organization. They rate it low credibility for poor sourcing, fake news, lack of ownership transparency, and often uh, they are a, an imposter site. Um, the, the owner of the site, SMMC LLC, appears to be inactive. Uh, so there's really no way to know who's running or operating the site, and that lack of transparency is a major issue uh, for a newspaper, an online newspaper, trying to claim some kind of journalistic integrity. Elon has crippled ahead of the midterms, uh, so this is politically motivated, the tools that his employees were using to, uh, to, to use content moderation and policy enforcement tools that would manage uh, hate speech or misinformation. So crippling that, um, and uh, obviously relying on sources like the Santa Monica Observer, makes Twitter a hotbed for misinformation. We've seen how um, cancerous and detrimental that can be to our society. Um, very dangerous. And then lastly, there are security issues involved with selling a verification mark, the blue check mark, to everybody. Already, I live in a world where many people are, uh, are, are cons or frauds and they are um, using my identity to, to, to seek people's affection or their money or whatever the scam is. There are, at any one time, dozens or hundreds of people approaching fans as if they are me or my management team and ultimately seeking uh, something nefarious from that interaction. And uh, it's difficult for people to suss out who they're talking to, even with uh, verification on Twitter and Instagram. When those imposter identities can buy the blue check mark, it's gonna be infinitely harder for people to understand who they're dealing with. It is a security concern for people like myself. Um, I, as much as anybody want fairness, I wanna live in a world where everybody is a valued customer or VIP or has a blue check mark, but there are, when it comes to this, with, with the anonymity that's prevalent in the online community, this is a danger to people like myself and to those who would be on the receiving end of some scam um, or some nefarious interactions. For that and several other reasons, I'm deleting my Twitter and I would encourage you to as well.